Hey guys, I'm Rich from NeoWin. Today we're unboxing the Lenovo ThinkPad 25th Anniversary Edition. Now, before we get into it, the box you're looking at in front of you is not it. This is a little package that they sent me a few days ago, and I kind of wanted to show it off on camera a little bit because it's kind of cool. Um, there's no actual device in here though. So it's it's meant to be a, a replica of the original ThinkPad. Like, the original ThinkPad was this ridiculously thick like now you can buy you can buy an ultra book and it comes in a box that's this thick right so if we open it up here we have um you can see there's a little light up here and a um, little story on our 25th anniversary it's only natural to take a look back at our accomplishments but we're not a company to rest on our laurels in fact part of what's helped us get where we are is our constant need to always look forward the future is yet to be written included you will find two books. On the left, we tell our story of our past. On the right, we look to our future and invite you to join us in writing it. For inspiration, we're providing you with our iconic red track point as a reminder to always keep thinking. Now, the reason these lights are there, right? And there's a letter that's in here, and there's these books down here, and there's a little bit of chocolate, and there's a huge um, uh, track point, <laughs> which is obviously not as big on the regular model. So the reason this light is there, according to the letter, is that... Uh, on the original ThinkPad, this is based on the on the ThinkPad 700C, which was announced on October 5th, 1992, exactly 25 years ago, right? So there weren't backlit keyboards back then, so you had this light to just light everything up, you know? Um, so yeah, we got a book in here, and um, there, there's really nothing else to talk about, and I don't know, maybe we could talk about the books on another video this isn't the place for that we want to unbox a, a laptop all right all right and here you have the box it comes in a very big box um i don't really know why that is i don't really know what to expect from this thing i i have seen the the press release i've seen uh you know <laughs> I've, I've seen i know it's a, a throwback to an, to an older device so there is a box inside here so let's get this out all right yeah, so you can see that the box, again, maybe a little bit thicker than the, than that uh, replica that they sent me. It's pretty cool. All right, so let's see how we can get this open. Oh, it's upside down. Yeah, there we go. 25th anniversary edition, okay? So we'll open this up. All right. And here we have very nice packaging, by the way. Um, probably the nicest Lenovo packaging I've seen. Oh, so there's a lot. Of the, you see this? Um, the inside here pops up. Okay. And we've got another book here. We got another one. Of the, oh, three different uh, track points. Um, I assume that that's replaceable, that, unless these are just there for decoration. All right. This, wow, there's a lot of stuff in this box, and it's it's very nicely packaged. I feel bad just kind of uh, going through this on video. and But I'm glad I didn't take it out of the box before I did the video, because this is very nice. Um, see, we have like kind of like that uh, rainbow-colored ThinkPad logo, which isn't there on uh, um, newer models like the X1. I, I've been reviewing the uh, X1 Yoga lately, and it's really just wonderful. But I'm, I'm excited to, to get into this. Um, so yeah, we have like a classic style, uh, mechanical keyboard there. You can see, by the way, the hinge goes to 180 degrees, which is pretty cool. Um, yeah, that blue enter key, that, that's an old school track point there. It's based on the body of the ThinkPad T470, but you can see that there are a, a, a number of, of changes from like the original uh, ThinkPad. We have a fingerprint sensor for Windows Hello over here. Obviously, the new uh, uh, Precision uh, touchpad. The keyboard is much different from from what you see in modern ThinkPads, which um, I'm a big fan of the the newer ones. We have different ports over here. If we can just get this over here, USB Type A. Uh, we have a Thunderbolt port, Th Thunderbolt 3, obviously, a uh, power button, I mean, power port over here. On this side, we have plenty of ports, which that's one of the things I love about ThinkPad PCs is that they have enough ports to, to do everything that you need to do. Two more Type A ports, HDMI, audio input and output, wired, wired internet, which is always helpful in a laptop. All right, let's see what else we got in here. There's, there's a lot of stuff in this box. And um, this is like half, it's half unboxing, half kind of uh, nostalgia. 
So, yeah, safety warranty setup guide, uh, which gets its own packaging for some reason. We should, this is probably like a power cable, I'd assume. Let's see. No, this is, oh, wow. Yeah, this, I, b I believe this is a battery, which I didn't even realize is not included in the device, which, um, interesting. So now it is. Let's see what else. Now this should definitely be the power power cable. And this comes with a standard Lenovo proprietary power cable. If I had to guess, and I will obviously test it, it should probably work with a, you know, a standard 65 watt USB type C charger. All the other ThinkPads do. It's one of the things that I love about ThinkPads and a lot of companies are doing this these days where it still uses the proprietary charging cable, but you can also, if you want, you can use USB Type-C, which is really awesome because um, it's nice to be able to use the same charger across all devices. But on the other hand, if you want to use the one, the charger that came with your old Lenovo laptop, you can do that too. All right, so if we pack this away, you can see it, it sinks into a... Uh, I really like the packaging. They, they clearly put a lot of thought and a lot of work into this. It's very, very nice. So the device itself uses the carbon fiber materials that ThinkPads are known for. And if we could just find the power button around... Oh, this is the power button up here. Did they not give me power? All right, it would seem that this does not... It did not come with the charge, so, so I had to, to go and plug it in, but... Here we go, we can boot it up. It has a 1080p screen. Obviously, obviously it has improved specs over the original uh, ThinkPad 700C. It, um, it has a Core i7 U-series processor. It's a Core i7 7500U, which is obviously dual core, because it's seventh generation. The eighth gens are quad core. There is a GeForce 940MX GPU, so, you should have some power there. Otherwise, it would have been the integrated uh, HD graphics rather than the Iris Plus that comes with the with the 7560. So this thing is booting up. Like I said, 1080p display. This this model has 16 gigs of RAM, 512 gigabytes of storage, um, a 14 inch screen uh, should be touch also. So. Lots of modern specs, obviously Windows 10. The original one, the original one, I, I looked up the specs, something like 25 megahertz processor. Uh, there was, I believe there's a model with a 386 or a 486 processor. If you're not familiar, it's an 8486. 8486 came before the Pentium. Uh, the Pentium 1, 2, 3, and 4 came before the, the Core 2 Duo. And that came before the i3, i5, i7 that we know today. We're going to shut this off. All right, so there's the, the setup. It's an anti-glare matte display type of deal. And, um, yeah, it's really cool because, it, like I said, it's half regular PC, half nostalgia here. I think I'm still going to be more of a fan of the X1 Yoga. I like 1440p displays, and the Yoga is is OLED, the one they sent me. But, um, but yeah, it's it's really cool to... to see all of these like retro features on a, on a new laptop. I would have liked it if they sent me the original one. Um, I would love, I would love to have a laptop running windows 3.1 just, and just play with it. I have an old laptop that runs, I think windows 98 and that's a, it's cool to just break it out and play with it a little bit once in a while, you know, maybe run a visual studio six on it. So we're going to set this up. And I don't believe there's any pen support or anything really nuts like that. But um, so one thing that's pretty cool here is that we get facial recognition and fingerprint. That's something that most most Lenovo laptops don't have. Um, most of the ones that I've seen are just fingerprint, and I'm not a big fan of that. I mean, fingerprint's okay sometimes if you're if you have a convertible device and you want to be able to use it in tablet mode where the, the camera might be at an awkward angle. It's nice to have the fingerprint as a backup, but facial recognition is great in a laptop. These, these Windows Hello laptops are really great. You just open it up and it sees you and you're in. But of course I could set that up later because, hey, we're doing a video. It's not, I, 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 if you watch a lot of my videos, you know that there have been times that I tried to do facial recognition on a video and it does not work out well. But, um, 
Yeah, um, a couple more things before before we wrap this up. You can see that it does have the uh, seven row, the seven row classic keyboard. That's that's one of the the throwback features of this device. And I mean, I don't think that you'll need it, but it's it's really cool. We have a uh, again, we could swap out the different uh, track points, and we have a little book here that we can look at, which again. There's a lot of literature that they're sending me, which is fun to fun to read through. We can we can check out that stuff maybe maybe on another video. But um, that's about it. You can see that um the key, the 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 biggest thing you're gonna notice here is the keyboard is a different design from modern ThinkPads. It has they they call it a soft rubberized finish, which. The new the new keys do have that, but they're islanded, so you get more space between keys on the new ones. They have the the rounded edges on the under the keys. I actually have one. I have the the X one Yoga, as I pointed out. This is you can see the difference. The there's a big <laughs> big design difference between modern ThinkPad design and classic. So, like I said, what we're basically doing here is we're taking classic classic design and putting putting modern hardware inside of it and i'm always a big fan of that because it's cool there's a lot of people that love this machine in its day or this this type of machine and it's it's um it's always a lot of fun when oems do this anyway guys that's it i'm rich from neowin have a great night